about time. What's going on? Yeah. Rumor Report. Rumor Report. This is the Rumor Report. Talk to him. With Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Well, things didn't work out with Mike Epps and his wife, so now she wants to get $109,000 a month from him to what? support the family. Now, she said that Mike Epps makes $3.5 million a year, but recently he cut her off from everything. No bank accounts, no credit cards. She has no income, and she says the whole time they were together, he never wanted her to work, so now she can't get a job. Now, she said she spends several thousand dollars a month on shoes and clothes for their girls, their 10- and 12-year-old girls. Plus, they have to get their hair braided at a very expensive salon, food, vacations, and it's $72,000 a year for private schooling for the young girls. Well, how big is this family that he needs? she needs $100,000? It's only yeah. two girls? That's a lot of bread. Now, yes. now, by the way, anything that has to do with the daughters should absolutely be taken care of. Yes. And I'm going to be totally honest. Uh, I do feel like sometimes baby mothers do go to court and they do stick up the baby fathers. But you have to take care of the baby mother, man. Yeah, you just you gotta have to. You got to take care it, of the babies and the housing. And, uh, yeah, so she bills. also yes, wants absolutely. sole possession of the house. And she feels that he should cover expenses like the nanny. He kind of should, though. I mean, it, as crazy as it sounds, one hundred and nine thousand. I don't know about now all that, that. Now that's an ex- that is a very huge yeah. I don't know about amount all of that. money. Okay, but, I don't know that she needs that much money, but I think if he's responsible for paying for taking care of the school, the house, there yeah. are. And um, let's be clear, there are a lot of guys who, when they get married, do not want their wife to work. Want them to stay home and raise the children and take care of hold things down at home and. <clears throat> Sometimes it's difficult if things don't work out and you, you have to get man, back in the workforce. If the mother of your child is happy, your children will be happier. She may not need 100 and whatever grand a month, but take care of the house, take care of the school, take care of the bills. All right. Well, Chance the Rapper and his daughter's mom, Chris, Kirsten Corley, they have reached an agreement. If you recall, they were having some child support issues. Well, now both parties have come to an amicable solution. They have an 18-month-old daughter, mm-hmm. and they are both going to live separately and get substantial time with their daughter. But he is going to take care of the child support that will help cover a furnished home, a vehicle, and all of those things. It's not 109000 though. No, it's not. But they did work together, and they reached a deal that was fair to both parties. So. I thought he was getting married. I remember a couple of months ago, a few months ago, women were like, oh, I love Chance the Rapper. He's so in love with his baby mom. I love their relationship. They goals. Well, things ended up not working out. I guess he's never really home. He's traveling all the time, and it just didn't work out. So now, in order to rectify their situation because they do have a child together. They've come together and come to this conclusion together. Okay. Mm. That's good. Instead of having the courts handle it, they settled it themselves. All right. Wyclef was arrested. Well, he was handcuffed yesterday because he, quote, fit the description of an armed robber. Now, the sheriff's department has had to explain (laughs) why they took the action that they did, and they pulled him over. Apparently, he was trying to explain who he was, but the cops were not trying to hear it. Here's what Wyclef had to say. L.A. right now coming from the studio with T-Baby, and y'all see the police have handcuffs on me. They just took off my Haitian bandana. That's what's going on right now with Wyclef in L.A. right now. The LAPD have me in cuffs to absolutely nothing. I'm trying to picture this. Like, Wyclef does have a robber dip- disposition about him. Does what you mean? If he had a Haitian bandana on, I can kind of see. He was really, he said they took up a Haitian bandana. Yeah, they took his bandana right off his head. He may look like a shooter. I don't know about a robber. He's red and blue. Well, no. according to the sheriff, they're saying it was a lawful detention. Because they actually did end up getting the guy, like, a few minutes later in the area afterward. We did need he, to see a picture. Yeah, did he look like Wyclef? They did, he didn't look like Wyclef. But according to the sheriff, they said Wyclef fit the description and the car fit the description. What was of what the they description? Black man? with a Haitian bandana on? Black. <laughs> I need to see the picture of this And guy. it was an armed robbery, so they said it was a similar vehicle to the vehicle that Wyclef was in. What if it was Prost? And they said that Wyclef's <laughs> movements and his demeanor, because of all of those things, that's why he was handcuffed. Now, Wyclef has issued a statement. He said, I was asked by the police to put my hands up. Then I was told, do not move. I was instantly handcuffed before being asked to identify myself and before being told why. In the process, I said my name and told them they have the wrong person. They proceeded to ignore me, and I was treated like an animal. I'm sure no father wants his sons or daughters to see him in handcuffs, especially if he is innocent. As someone who has law enforcers in my family, I was appalled by the behavior of the LAPD. And the LAPD wants you to know it wasn't them. It was the Sheriff's Department. Now, I read that article yesterday. I would like to say uh, I, I hate when police officers say things like his movements made him look like he was guilty or whatnot. When you get pulled over by the police as a black man, you're nervous. 
Sorry, yeah. I'm just we just are. We might even be shaking a little because we don't know what will happen. And you're rewinding, rewinding all these different stories you hear about people getting killed by police officers in your head over and over. So yeah, we are a little nervous. Well, yeah, what they were saying was that there was a description of a man wearing a red and blue bandana, and he, the person was driving a similar car, and that's what happened. That's why they I pulled him over. All right, well, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report. Hey, hey, hey. The Breakfast Club every weekday morning. Tune in.